I know that all the churches are tuned in now and all the nations are tuned in at the same time. Uh, Jehovah, the Lord, the Creator, the Lord Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd, Jehovah El Jire, he has spoken with me. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Mekadishken, Jehovah Hoseinu, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Sabaot, Jehovah Elohim, the Lord Jehovah Elion, the Lord Jehovah Eloheka, Jehovah El Shama, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Hoseinu, the Lord our Maker, the Lord Jehovah Sid Kenu, Jehovah El Gibor, he has spoken with me this day. And Jehovah Elohim, Adonai, Sabaoth, Shalom, Hoseinu, Jehovah Elion, El Olam, Jirei, Eloheka Mekadishken Shama, Jehovah El Gibor, Rohi, he has spoken with me this morning, and this morning at about 7 o'clock in the morning, the Lord has spoken with me in a very tremendous historic conversation, and I feel like time is running, my time is running out. In this conversation, at the end of it all, I feel like my time is running out now, because the Lord this morning, he showed me a very historic event that's about to take place on this earth. I see a lot of people who are in different places of the earth. And there was a meeting. I was also involved in a meeting somewhere. And that the meeting took place. And then after a short while, I saw people all of a sudden being taken up and entering the glorious kingdom of God. Again, the Lord has shown me today. He has not shown me before. It's the most shocking and the most historic moment that I have ever beheld in this continual and continuous relentless conversation with the Godhead, God the Father. He alone about whom knows the time knows the day and the hour of this coming of the Messiah and the entry of the church into heaven. And so, again, this morning, about 7 o'clock, 7.08, the Lord spoke with me in a tremendous conversation. And I was in a meeting somewhere. And as I was in that meeting, then I see the whole earth. He shows me everywhere. And then after that, I see now, all of a sudden, people going up. And it was such a shocking thing to see them in the same garment, all of them, in the same garment. And including their hair, they had tied their heads like turban, rolled. They had tied their head with the same garment, fine linen, bright, glorious, and clean. And they had tied and the front they rolled. The way they had is tied is rolled. They have tied they have the turban, but it is in front here is rolled and woven like that all around. And I saw people entering into the kingdom of God. I saw them the detail, the greater detail of their entry, a lot of people entering into the kingdom of God. Not a lot as in a lot of people. Compared to the population of the earth, there were very few people that entered. But I saw a lot of people remain on the earth. I have seen the church enter. I have seen the Lord take the church. And today the Lord has really privileged me because he has made me see them 
enter the entry. It's amazing how they were leaving the earth into the air. So into the air as they were going. I have seen the church enter. It's a very shocking event that has panicked me so much. And that's why I feel like my time is running out now. My time has run out. I have seen the church enter and they were wearing the same garment. Same garment. I see them at the point of entry now from down the earth. The Lord showed me how they leave the ground and go into the air. And then even at the point of entry when they now enter. When they finally enter and I saw them in their court as they entered. These things I have seen today. This day the Lord has spoken with me about this very, very fearful, irreversible and irretrievable event. And at this hour, it is obvious that the message on the coming of the Messiah has now reached the four ends of the earth. The islands, the lakes, the oceans, the streams, the rivers, the springs, the mountains, the rocks, the valleys, and all the continents of the earth, all the peoples and the languages of the earth, at this time they have heard. They have heard that the Messiah is coming. At this precious hour, the Lord has spoken with me on the coming of the Messiah, on the taking of the church. I've seen people enter, not many people. I saw them go in, and they were wearing the same garment. Remember in the Bible, it always took a short time when you look at the Bible, when you look at the interlude, the distance of time between when the voice that prepared the way appeared and when the king came, when the Lord the Messiah came, that time is a short time. Again, when the relative of the Lord appeared on the earth, when his relative appeared on the earth and began to announce his coming, and when he appeared into the sin, that time was short. Again, I have seen the entry of the church. I saw people leave the earth this morning, about 7 o'clock, 7 zero. And it was amazing to see how they leave the soil and go into the air. It was just amazing to see that. It shocked me very much. And then I saw them all as they entered. And it slowed down everything for me to see very well. And I see them, they even tie turban, same garment, fine as linen, bright and clean and glorious. This is what I have been announcing over the years for all my life. This is what I have been saying over the years, since days of old, that the Messiah is coming, that the nations need to prepare. Everyone knows that the way to prepare is to be in righteousness and to return to holiness and to stop this game going on on the earth as if the earth is here forever. Now, it is a serious call unto repentance. And I don't know why today, because today is when the church in Kenya, the whole nation is right now observing a national repentance for some of the grievous things that have happened here, onto this voice, onto this message. And now, the Lord speaks about the entry of men entry of the church into the kingdom of God. That is a tremendous thing. Shocked me and awoke me to the fact that my time is off. My time is first running out. The time is running out for the church. And the Lord is asking that all peoples everywhere begin to prepare in absolute righteousness. 
the Lord is asking that all peoples everywhere on the earth, including in the oceans, those that are out in those islands of the oceans, all the way down to New Zealand, Australia, as you go as far as Finland, South Korea, all the way to Canada, all those places. Nebraska, down to Concepcion and Nocturno, down below, 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 below the tip of South America. The Lord is asking that everybody repent, that everyone put their knees down and repent, and repent from the bottom of their hearts, and receive Jesus as Lord, and forget about sin, and reject sin, denounce sin, and renounce every wickedness of this earth, and prepare themselves for a more glorious kingdom, a holier kingdom, the holiest kingdom, the glory kingdom, the mighty kingdom, the eternal kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of heaven. Again, I repeat, ever since you look at the Bible, the time between when the voice of the relative of the Lord appeared to announce his coming, and when the Lord himself appeared, that time is short. So prepare way all the way throughout the nations of the earth. That the Lord may have his way in your hearts. This is a moment of awakening, a moment of reckoning, the moment of truth. Let all people now face the truth. Are you going into the kingdom of God? Are you prepared in righteousness? Are you going to choose holiness? Remember the Bible says, For without holiness, no one will see the Lord. In other words, you cannot enter the glorious kingdom of Jehovah. And for Kenya, you really need to repent. Because so much has been given you. But sometimes the way you've handled it, I have trembled. The way you've handled things, sometimes trying to hurt the messenger, to kill him, to do what, to poison him. You cannot do those things, to burn him in a house. All these kind of things you've done. And yet many cripples have walked, the largest number of cripples ever walked the earth have walked here. The largest number of blind eyes ever opened on the earth have opened here. The largest number of HIV AIDS, largest number of deaf, mute, what, everybody. Even today as we wait, as we wait for this event that I've announced, even today as we wait, people are going to be healed across the churches. And the nations of the earth, you need to prepare because every single soul was given the capacity to detect sin. And reject sin. The voice has been heard. That prepare ye the way. For the coming of the Messiah. Prepare ye the way. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of God. Is at hand. Again. Today. In the morning. At about 7 o'clock. 708. Around there. The Lord has shocked me. He showed me the church entering. I panicked because I wanted the Lord to give me a chance to announce this to you. I wanted the Lord to give me a chance to alert you that I may finish my work well. I feared it may happen before I announce it to you. But I have seen people going up and going into the kingdom of God. This morning here. And he drew it very close. This time it drew me very close to them. Most of the time they have been they have been at a distance. This time even as he lifted me up, but he drew them very close to me. So I could see people. I saw them now how they left the earth, the soil, and they went. And I saw also how they finally entered. It's a tremendous shocking sight to behold. So I have seen the Messiah coming. And I've said, when you look at the Bible, when the relative of the Lord Jesus appeared and began to announce his glorious coming, 
And when the Messiah himself appeared, that time is short. If I feel like my time is running out, those who have ears, prepare the way. This is him about whom it is written in scripture. This is him about whom it was written in the word that I will send my messenger that will go ahead of you to prepare your way before the day of your coming. Those who have ears, please hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Shalom.